Hi kids! It's time for us to do some intentional teaching. Today, we're going to do a color hunt. But first, we need to discuss what colors are. So, how do we make certain colors? That's what we're going to do. Okay, so I have these three jars of water. And I have these three food colors. Let's see what colors I have. I have yellow, blue, and red. And these colors are all you really need to make as many colors as you'd like. So let's start off. Let's put blue. Oops. Blue in this cup. Ooh, look what happens when we drop the food coloring into the water. Do you see how it makes it a lot of blue? I'm going to swirl it up and see what happens. All right, now we have blue water. Is there anything? Let's go on a color hunt in your house. What in your house can you see that's blue? Hmm. I'm wearing a blue dress today. I see that that's blue at my house. Hmm. Where do you find blue? Cool. All right. Let's do the next color we do. Let's do red. Let's drop a couple of red. One, two, just two drops. Ooh, I really like it when the food coloring drops down through the water. Can you see that really cool cloud it makes? Wow, that's really cool. All right, let's swirl it up. Ooh, red. Mm. All righty. Can you find something red in your house? Hmm, something red. <gasps> Ooh, I see in my house have red tomatoes sitting on my counter. Red tomatoes. Hmm. What do you see that's red at your house? Ooh, my glasses are red on the outside. Red glasses. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, and now we're going to do yellow. One, two, three, four. I'm going to put four drops of yellow in there. So yellow is a light color. Look at that cloud. Wow, look how cool that is. All right, let's swirl it up. Ooh, yellow. What do you see that's yellow in your house? Hmm. I have some yellow bananas in my kitchen. Yellow bananas. Hmm. What else? Oh, look. I see that I have a yellow envelope with my mail in it. Hmm. Interesting. Yellow. All righty. Well, now I want to make green. Hmm. How am I going to make green? What two colors makes green? I only have yellow, blue, and red, and I need to make green. Hmm. Blue and yellow mixed together makes green. Let's see what find what happens when I put some yellow inside this blue water. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Awesome. Ooh, let's see. Whoa, do you see that green cloud in there? Let's see, hold on. It's the light. Can you see the green cloud amongst the... There you go. Look. All right, let's swirl it up and see what happens. Ta-da! It's green! Wow. Light. 
We need our light on in the room. Look at that. Much better. Thank you, my friend Betsy. Green. What can we find that is green inside your house? Hmm. Green. I'm looking. Oh! I have a pencil bag that's green. What did you find? Mm. Oh, my bet, my friend Betsy, she's eating some food and her plate is green. Wow. Thanks, Betsy. She's helping me with this video. Behind the scenes, she's pointing to things too, just like you should be pointing at your home. Okay, let's see. Now I want to make orange. Hmm. What colors do I need to make orange? <laughs> yellow and red will make orange. Let's use this yellow container and we're going to put a little bit of red in it. All right, let's see what happens. All right, we're not going to put too much red because we don't want it to be overpowered. So I think I'm just going to put one drop. Ooh, one. Ooh, look at it. Look at that little cloud inside the orange, inside the yellow. I love it. So pretty. Makes me want to draw it. Ta-da! We made orange. That's amazing. See how orange it looks? That is so cool. What's orange at your house? Hmm. My hair is orange. I always have orange on because my hair is orange. Huh. Interesting. Hmm. Let's see. We have one more color. And we're going to need to use the color red and another color. Hmm. To make purple. What color would we use to make purple? Blue. You're right. Red and blue makes purple. One. Two. I'm only going to put two. Purple's a really hard color to make because sometimes you have too much blue and not enough red or too much red and not enough blue and the color just gets all askew. So let's see what happens when I added Two blue. Ooh, look at that. I like, I really like that. Okay, let's swirl it up. Let's see if it made purple. Ooh, it looks kind of black, but I bet you if you shine a light through the water, it will be purple. Let's see what happens. I'm going to shine this light. Ooh, can you see it? It's purple. <laughs> That's so exciting. Woohoo. Can you guys find anything purple at your house? Hmm. Let's see. I think my friend Betsy might be helping me because I don't see a lot of purple in my house. There's always green at my house. There's always blue. Oh, look. Betsy found some purple grape. Purple lid, purple grape jelly. Mmm, I love it. We're gonna make meatballs with this. I'm excited for that. Well, my friends, I'm so glad that you guys came to join me for our intentional teaching. Just go around and, and uh, look for different colors in your, in your house and then describe to your parents how you make that color. How do you make green? How do you make orange? How do you make purple? <coughs> These are some things that we need to know. Parents, as you do observations, think of these questions. How did the child describe colors and objects around the room? How clearly did the child speak when describing the colors? How did the child find the matching colors? How did the child use the colored water at your house? to discover new colors. 
what could you do to change these colors? I encourage you to try it at home to see if you can't make different colors with different things. Hmm. Could you change this green into a different color? What if we added more yellow? I'm going to try that. I'm going to add a lot of yellow in there. I think it's still going to be green, but I think that it changes to a more of a chartreuse green, which is my favorite color. So, I wonder what type of colors you can discover.